Danny was definitely the least successful. I loved the idea of doing a mascot for New York City. We were very excited to get an inquiry from the Yankees. One of the first sketches that I did uh, for Dandy was the one that I showed to George Steinbrenner and his group. And my first idea was to do a really old-fashioned Yankee player. I did a lot of research on the uniforms and we wanted to think of this as a sort of dyed-in-the-wool Yankee. The colors were the original blue and white stripes for the Yankees uniform. When it came to be the blue, I wanted to make it a little lighter blue because I didn't want it to read as black. I told George Steinbrenner that and he was very upset. We had a little bit of an argument about that. I won in a way, I mean, we, we negotiated, but when I came out of the meeting, the people who had been in there with us said, how'd you dare say that to George? <laughs> he was somebody to be feared, and I didn't realize that, so that's probably just as well. But they had a contest to name the mascot for the Yankees, and it was all over town. They put these posters out, and when we first did it, we had told them that we wanted to do a takeoff on the Do You Know Me campaign from American Express, which was very popular at the time. Um, they said, fine. We told them we were gonna do a caricature of George for the Roman soldier. We went ahead <laughs> and had them all printed, and then somebody got nervous and said, we don't know if George would like it. So they, had to, they made us reprint the whole thing with just the regular American Express Roman soldier in it. But I kept some of the early ones that had the caricature of George. It was very subtle and I have a feeling he would have liked it. Before that he didn't have a name, this is when we did a name. And actually I probably wouldn't have chosen Dandy, but go figure. This is our most popular mascot. Um, his name is Philly Fanatic for the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, he's here just to get a little refurbishing. We use a lot of nice products, feathers, things like that to spruce him up. So he's in here getting a new hat, getting ready for the new season. He's made out of feathers. He's made out of the old fashioned, it used to be legs eggs. Now we mold the eyes ourselves. He always has a fresh season Phillies cap and he's made out of a very nice fleece and long Icelandic fur, fake fur. The old hat is on him, and we're, we're ready to put a new hat. The feathers, these will become eyelashes, and we'll replenish the ones that are up here. Oh, he has a blower. That's a big thing for the fanatic. He's had a blower, and he uses it to great effect. This happens to be uh, sketches and some of the layouts for a character we called Sport who did public appearances and entertainment for minor league baseball teams for about seven years. We are now uh, considering a donation to someone who will be able to put it to good use.